hey kings and queens welcome or welcome back to my channel it's rain rose back with another video so here i am finally building this bar y'all one of my favorite parts of being married is the aspect of no longer having to be a strong independent black woman um in my marriage my husband does all the hard labor and i enjoy like kind of basking in my femininity and being able to be soft and you know my husband doing these things for me but i was eager to see my bar built and i also wanted brett to come home and see you know a couple differences to the house so i decided to get up and finally build this bar So this is how the bar turned out, y'all. It turned out absolutely beautiful. Every single piece here is linked in the description below. All three, from the pictures to the wall shelf and the bar, are all in the description below. Obviously, these pieces were pretty simple to put together. I did put them together by myself. They're very sturdy and actually really quality pieces. And I just absolutely love it. And y'all say white people can't fry no chicken. Tell her mom. <laughs> no, you don't. You really don't. But earlier when you asked, was I okay? I was just having some frustrations about the surgery coming up and then me and Brett not being pregnant yet. And so I was in the car talking to him about that. And like, I know for sure, you know, I've not ever not breastfed any of my kids. So I know for sure. Oof, the lighting is bad. I know for sure that I want to breastfeed, but you know, I don't want to like go through this surgery that I have to like amp myself up for because I'm really scared and then have a baby and then my boobs be a little bit saggy again and then breastfeed. And they say that you can, but I don't want any complications with trying to breastfeed the baby. And I was just getting frustrated because like i've been trying for 15 months but i'll say like hardcore we've been trying for six months now everybody keeps saying like why is she rushing to have a baby because i started at 19. i gave my entire 20s to giving birth breastfeeding raising babies you get what i'm saying like when i'm in my 30s i want my body to myself i want to relax in my womanhood i want to feel good about myself and my body and i want to be raising Roz and Raiden will be by the time I'm 33, Roz will be 13 and 12. They can kind of stay home by themselves while I'll do quick trips, you know? Finally to that point and to the point that I'm just, you know, like now relaxing and feeling good about myself. That's why I told Brett, I don't want any kids into my 30s at all. That's just, I just don't. If I started at 30, it would be different. But because I started, I got pregnant at 19 and had a baby at 20. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to, I'm up 28 and already my entire adulthood I've been pregnant and breastfeeding. You understand? Like, yeah. So I had a breakdown, very bad. So what, what did you and Brett decide? Brett said, for sure, I promise you, I've been like taking supplements and everything. This cycle, we're gonna get pregnant. And we said, if not, then we'll just do, like surrogate is super expensive, but IVF is actually not like too expensive where they just put your, the egg and the sperm inside of me. Uh -huh. yeah, it's not that bad, especially because he has good insurance. Uh, well, make, I will make a suggestion. Yeah. So, do you go get Like, I don't really know what the plan is. I guess, like, if I get pregnant this cycle, then I get pregnant. And if I don't, I'm going to go through with my breast surgery because I'll pay for and everything, you know? But it just frustrates me. I don't, I don't know. It's too bad you couldn't talk to somebody um, that's had it and then got pregnant again. Yeah. I, plenty of women do, you know? But you know. I'm not the type of woman to, oh, go lay on the table and get cut up and then oh oh they're a little sad he let me go and lay back on the table <laughs> like 
<laughs> There's no way in hell. Right? When I do that, I'm not doing it again for 20 years at all. I don't care. Those boots are going to last for 20 years at least. You know? Here we go. Here we go. Mom's about to go get all beautified even more than get she already my, is. <laughs> get rid of my COVID hair. Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been since you got your hair done? COVID. Oh, wow. Beginning. Yeah. So mom's going to get a cut and highlights and she'll see you soon. <laughs> Oh, what do you got? Glasses. Your glasses? Yeah. I like your glasses. You like them? Yeah. While mom was getting her hair done, me and Race decided to sneak and go get her an outfit. I just wanted to show y'all. I just came from the wine store to kind of fill my bar up a little bit. So I got a couple of Cabernets, I got a Chardonnay, I got some Maker Smart, cause y'all know I don't play about my whiskeys. And so this is a really, really good Cabernet. Y'all must try it. 1858, it's awesome. And so that one is a blend, a red wine blend. And then, yeah, this one's a Cabernet. Got Maker's Mark. And I've got some new wine glasses. Today's a busy day. I have to take Roz to football practice, obviously, today. And I had a lot of stuff planned with mom, so I have her bag right here. I kind of want to just have everything like here set up for her waiting, and then me and her enjoy a glass of wine while I do her makeup and have her feel all pretty about herself, you know. This is how the bar turned out, y'all. It turned out absolutely beautiful. Every single piece here is linked in the description below. All three, from the pictures to the wall shelf and the bar, are all in the description below. Obviously, these pieces were pretty simple to put together. I did put them together by myself. They're very sturdy and actually really quality pieces, and I just absolutely love it. Hi. Ross said, whoa, she looks Hi, different like a brand new person. <laughs> Hi. It's like pretty. Yeah. I think it's so pretty back there. Do you like it? Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. White or red? Which one's right in here? White puts You like red? Yeah. I like any. I mean, red puts I'm going to do white. You guys, mom just could not keep her excitement in and it was literally the cutest thing ever. All throughout the entire time I was doing her makeup, she was just smiling ear to ear. Like myself, mom is a boy mom of three, you guys, and yes, they're all married. Anyways, while I was doing her makeup, I was reminded of myself, and it was a great lesson for me not to lose myself and my beauty getting caught up in my day-to-day -day rough boy lifestyle. Let's start with the contour. Oh, 
Yeah, you're good, Mommy. Okay? <laughs> Into a club, mm -hmm. a little 21 year old. Yeah. No, I thought of the movie. What's that movie, Mom? You probably haven't seen it, but it's like two women and she's like 40 and they're like standing in the line to get into the club. Mm -hmm. What did they do? It was just funny because it was a the black man with like the bouncer uh -huh. and he's like, what the hell y'all bitches doing here? <laughs> and she's like, we're getting in the club. And like, she, they cut the line because that's what they used to do when they were younger. Mm -hmm. And he's like, get to the back of the line. Mm -hmm. like, and they felt like all bad, like, cause they were aging. <laughs> cause you know how like, mm -hmm. the trend is when they get to. Yeah, get in free. And yeah. I'd have to pay double. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you got <have> to lie. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly, Mom. <laughs> well, been 23 times, so maybe triple. <laughs> I got you. How old are you? Just exactly like 60. I'll be 61 here shortly. In January. Yeah. <laughs> You're comfortable telling your age and like something. Have you ever had that like moment, like in your forties or anything, where you were uncomfortable saying how old you are? Um, it was terrible at thirty and then fifty. Really at thirty? Mm -hmm. I would be happy to say I'm thirty. Mm -hmm. Really? No, I had to grow up. Yeah. All right. I don't know what it's already, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, not like actually feel like you're getting. Right, I was like getting old. Older. Yeah, contouring your little nose is funny because it's already stuff in the end. You have, you have all, you already have the nose that we're all, we're all trying to contour <laughs> our noses into. What I'm looking for in the end, just wanna know what I'm about. Here I'm just going in with the highlight. You want the highlight to be lighter than your natural skin and it's kind of the areas that naturally appear lighter on your face such as under your eyes, the bridge of your nose, and your temple and sometimes you can do your chin. I also highlighted under mom's contour on her cheek just to clean it up a bit and accentuate that cheekbone. I really wanted that um, contour to be really snatched so yeah. Yeah, it's kind of long. 
No makeup therapy. <laughs> Turn it over side, sister. <laughs> okay, so this is your color for sure? It's what I got. Okay. We'll see. I don't do well with that kind of stuff. I have yeah. no clue. It's coming along, but I just wonder if I should do the eyelashes first. Right? So I don't I've never had the eyelashes, so I don't want to get them messed up. And let me just touch up this eyebrow because it's gonna be a tiny bit better. She's like, how do you know what do you think? I'm like, I can't see it. <laughs> no, I just thought of something hilarious. Yeah. You go in your room after in that mirror and put on some sexy lingerie and send dad a picture and he's like, what? What's got you to my wife? What you doing down there? Ooh, that looks so pretty. It's not even on there, but it looks pretty. Wow, that looks gorgeous. See if I can get it on that per perfect. Look at her, y'all. Yes, since I was a girl. Really, really? Mm -hmm. Like a full beat? Mm -hmm. There you go. Inspired with these nails on. It was absolutely amazing and beautiful to see how much of a difference that one single eyelash made in mom's confidence, y'all. This is a reminder that no matter how old you are, throw on some makeup and even if you don't have nowhere to go, just look in the mirror. My goodness. Whoa. Okay. I got paint on my pants, y'all, so y'all just ignore all the white stuff. <clears throat> Gee whiz, mom! Wow. Do you sleep with these on? You? They never work out for me ever. Like, but I know plenty of girls that do for like three days straight. When I wake up, they're hanging. <laughs> they're always on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't like wearing them because. You have to do them like every day and it's hard for me to do my own every day. I hate doing eyelashes because I always get one perfectly on there and then the other one always be lopsided. But y'all, for mother, no. It had to be perfect for sis and I finally got it through but I was able to see like her blonde lashes underneath so i just went in with some mascara to darken her blonde lashes so that it matches with the fake lashes here i'm just going in with mom's foundation which is her or as close as possible to your natural skin color um, I'm also going over her contour just to make sure everything just blends seamlessly. Next, I just took that brush and just really worked with it. Just blend and blend and blend it to make sure that those dark lines aren't so harsh and they kind of just melt into, you know, the lighter tones. So just super blend, 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 blend with that brush, girl. Next, I just took the lightest shade in my highlighting palette. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is amazing. I love their highlight. And it just really pulls the look together. Here, I'm just giving my beautiful mother-in-law some eyebrows. To do this, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. She did have some like liquid bra, bra wax, but um, I couldn't get it open and I had to hurry up and pick brows up from football practice. 
So for the sake of time, I just used my eyeshadow palette and it actually turned out really nice. I used the dark brown color. Here I'm just spraying some setting spray on her face so that her makeup just blends as skin. And of course, ladies, the final step is a little bit of lip gloss. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, get into this. Mom looks so beautiful. We gotta go before we're late, but I've never seen mom with makeup on. I love it. Okay, so now I'm about to show y'all with her outfit that I bought her. Oh my lord, you guys. How did I do? Okay, so this is the earrings I got her. And then with the shirt, look at the blouse. Oh my God, I love it. Little arm action. So it's like, you know, a little bit of sexy, but also modest because mom likes to keep it clean, you know, not too much, well, not cleavage, you know, and then we got the long sleeve, but it's sheer. And then, oh my goodness, with the leggings. All she's missing is some shoes. No, look at my toes. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let me take some pictures. Yeah.